Today is the launch of the selected team for uh, the British Armed Forces uh, team for the Invictus Games, which is coming up in September. We're here to launch the team and present the team to the wider public to showcase uh, the individuals and the events that they're going for in the Invictus Games. Prosthetics, dogs, wheelchairs, high performance cars, 4x4s, tattoos. We've got everything here, it can only be the Invictus Games. These men and women here have achieved so much already, but by being selected for this team is another significant milestone in their life beyond injury. I wish you all the very best of luck in the final weeks of training. Let's make sure we're in top tip condition to beat everybody else and bring back as many medals as we possibly can, not forgetting it's the taking part that counts. It's really important for Jaguar Land Rover to take a leadership in this area. Um, we are a big business in the UK, employing close to 30,000 people now. So for us to act uh, responsibly as a big corporation and lead the way in terms of people thinking about the men and women that have dedicated their lives to serve their country, there's an important role for business to make sure these people are properly rehabilitated. And obviously it's about raising awareness for the, uh, the sacrifice that these people have had to make. Having Prince Harry come down here earlier was very exciting. Just a good uh, team again and meet up with him and then just, just share our stories, really. I just feel a real buzz, a real adrenaline rush, and I'm really chuffed to be here. To have the Invictus Games in London, uh, it will uh, inspire our uh, wounded men and women of the armed forces, and not only that, but inspire the country as a whole. It's incredible that we get the support that we do. The country's behind us to do it. People are buying tickets and showing up for it but also that we've got support from amazing companies that are getting right behind it, making it all happen.